Yo, Vic here. Crazy week. Crazy week, guys. Freezing. I don't know about you, but it is about zero degrees. Zero degrees out there. Friday's tomorrow. Um, little update for the week for you guys. I spoke to Joe Neon. Check him out on YouTube. Um, spoke for a good, I think that was a solid uh, hour and a half, maybe? What would you know? He uh, tracked me down, saw the last video there, found my number, called me. Awesome. No need to apologize, Joe. I thought that was pretty cool. Nice talking to you, man. Uh, have everybody go check him out. He's got a real sweet page. Um, another local guy haunting the Adirondacks, doing some outdoor stuff. I'm going to watch a couple more of his videos. Uh, I, I just found him probably a, a couple weeks ago. I don't know if he found me or I found him. We are playing back and forth there. He was probably checking my videos. I see him making comments. Pretty cool. Uh, yeah, check him out. Joe Neon. I guess he makes uh, neon signs. Uh, we're definitely going to see what he's got going on. Maybe he can do a nice Vic sign. Put it on the wall back here. Plain white wall. We got we to gotta jazz her up. Um, yeah, another cool thing. We're going to be hitting on this page here of mine. It's... It's pretty crazy. I would never think it would get up that way, but it's it's 294. I had to write it down. Just make sure uh, make sure I had it correct. That number 294,000 total page clicks or views. It's insane. It's insane. And uh, 355 subscribers. I'm getting close to that goal. I wanted to do 500 by the new year, but um, I think Joe, after talking to him today, he's going to give us a little. A little push maybe and uh, I really appreciate that Joe uh, if you could do anything that would be neat uh, and it's pretty powerful this is a pretty powerful format this YouTube you know you're reaching out to people that you would never never even think you know existed you know and um, just recapping what me and Joe were talking about on the phone uh, the world is is insane. You know, there's a lot of, lot of opportunities out there, a lot of people to learn from, and there's a lot of unique people out there. And I, It's tough sharing these videos, but we're sharing them. You know, you, you got to take the time, edit, take the footage, do it. You know, if you got something unique, get it out there, you know. I do speak to a lot of people, and they, they want to do some more stuff on YouTube, but they're spooked. You know, they're worried about people judging you know i get it you know this is this could be craziness you know but if you do have a topic i'm a little bit over the board you know i'm all over the place on my page but i i, I get it that's probably why i don't have a ton of subscribe subscribers you know you you, you got to be a certain per person to like what you're putting out there but that's okay i'm down with that um it, you know, just like I said, I think a long time ago in one of my videos, if I can help somebody out, I definitely will in any way. We had some snow roll through, did a little snow plowing. You guys see that with uh, old Greeny there. She's just a little powerhouse. That thing's amazing. You know, I just, I don't need to be driving around in that truck, believe me. I got a nice Ford diesel out there with a V-blade. That thing pushes snow like a like a bulldozer. It's unbelievable. But for some reason... If I got the time and, and a little extra time and uh, I'm not rushed and I don't have a lot of heavy snow to push, I go push some snow around with old Greeny. It's it's so cool to do that. And I'm glad I took some video. I got another video coming. I got a little more editing to do, but yeah, I got to shorten it up. It's a little long. It's about 15 minutes right now. If I can knock a couple minutes off, I'll be cool. But uh, yeah, the stats are pretty, pretty neat. Now, me and Chris, back at it. Me and Chris here. Let me get back to <laughs> Oop. Got to work on some better equipment here. Yeah, I'm going to take the old pumper truck, 20 gauge. Uh, tomorrow we're going to try to pin down a coyote, maybe possibly in the morning. I'm just going to make sure these batteries are good and the uh, mojo is ready to rip. And possibly, and possibly go kick some rabbits. Hopefully the sun's out tomorrow. And we'll do it. I just got to make a couple phone calls tomorrow during the day. And we'll cut loose early and make sure we get the phone calls in. Got to work too on a Friday. Uh, but the phone will be on me. And let's try to take out a coyote tomorrow. That should be awesome. Get some heavy bird shot. And if one gets in range, we'll lay down the, lay down the law. If 
if you know what I mean. So hopefully we can kick up some rabbits, pound down a coyote, and check a, probably check a game camera while we're at it, see if there's any bucks still running around. And I think there's a couple nice ones. And what else is there? I think it's going to be really cold. So another thing why I got this blanket on the wall. I've been into the wool. This one, actually, I never knew it. I always had this little wrapper for it. But it's a down. It's filled with down. Yeah, right, natural down. And I always had this. I, You know, I, you got to look at the stuff that you got. You know, your, your shirts that you wear, the gear you run. Everybody think, here, there's another one. My hat. Everybody sees me wearing this hat. I don't even know what where I got this thing. I don't even, it doesn't even say a name. Outdoor cap. That's it. And I love it, you know? I'd like to replace it with a nice wool one or something, but that thing, I don't know, for some reason it cuffs the ears nice. It's, it's cool. I, I dig it. It's a little weird looking. I get it, but I don't care. We're in a woods. We're woodsmen. We don't care what we look like. Come on. But I had this for years. I always rolled this thing camping. It's probably 15 years old, this blanket or more. I think I got it for a Christmas gift. I never knew, never knew until I read that label. It's filled with some down. Hey, I got a nice uh, uh, wool blanket. That'll be nice up north at the camp. Uh, put that down first, and I'll put my my uh, my uh, sleeping bag on top of that. And if it's real cold, we'll take the wool, put it inside the sleeping bag, and double down, you know, if it's cold. But it's nice and warm in there. So... Hey, good luck to you guys for you out, you know, bouncing around in the woods. Go check your game cameras. Get out there. Do a little late season scouting and, you know, do a little bit of figuring out for next year. You know, right now is a good time to kind of figure out what you got in your area. And I know it's cold. It's zero out there, but we we got good gear. I got them. Them boots are beautiful. I, I'll tell you, I had good luck with those Irish uh, setters. And what was the other thing I had? The nice wool jacket, bring that in, nice old school. I got to figure out one thing about the old school. What I'm thinking is, well, the wind. I feel like the wind goes through the wool a little bit. If you can get like a down maybe, a little vest, real light duty vest under the under the woolly, that might knock down on the wind. But maybe you guys can help me with that. If you know any, if you, you know, know anything about the wool jacket, definitely got to layer up on the, on the bottom real good. But stopping the wind from coming through that thing, I did notice that. Uh, but man, it's a phenomenal jacket. I mean, what do you want? There ain't nothing better, I don't think, but, uh, just kicking it old school. So check your gear. You might be surprised what you got and you don't even got it or even grandpa's, you know, go check out your old man's or your grandfather's stuff and see what he's got laying around and you might be surprised what you got. All right. Signing off. Catch you guys in a couple days here. It's going to be a nice new year's weekend. Chili. Go get them rabbits.